It's Adventures of the Scoundrels, episode 124. And this is a very special episode because we finally have 400, or over 400 subscribers. So this is technically special. And you'll see why in a minute. Ha! <sighs> the stars are beautiful, aren't they? They sure are. And everyone's just enjoying themselves, just living free, no worries. Ah, stars. I know, right? My muscles and I think they're so beautiful. Yep. They sure are, then, right? They sure are. Huh? Yeah, he are. <laughs> huh. Good for, good for Washbuckler. You know we're all going out. For, finally, my, my best friend has been wanting a girlfriend for a long time now. I'm glad she makes him happy. She deserves that, you know. Definitely. Oh, everyone, check this one out. The stars, or if you connect the dots, you can see the Big Dipper. Oh, you're right. Oh, so pretty. Yep, and over there you can see the Little Dipper. Oh, yeah. And over there you can see the stars moving. You mean like a shooting star? No, no, no. They're like actually moving. Whoa, you're right. That's not, that, something's not right here. Guys, we have to figure this out. Alright, Yar, what's going on with the stars? I know, right? Um, I'm kind of nervous. Although, wait a minute, there's only one person who can do that. With, who, who can control stars. You don't think? Oh, I do think. Well, let's get going. Did you find her anywhere? No, we haven't yet. Oh, my muscles and I can't believe we can't find her. Just calm down, we'll find her. Are you sure? Yeah, because I always. Because I haven't seen her or anywhere and. <laughs> Ta da! Star Strike! Guys? Oh, thank goodness! Wait a minute. Who are you, you, and you? Oh, yeah. This is Wash Zone, Blast... Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Wash Buckler, Blast Zone, and Magnet Charge. Yep. These are our friends from the Cloud Brick Islands. Oh, nice to meet you guys. You are nice to meet you, too. Oh, yes, definitely. They could be able to swap. Swap? What do you mean? Watch this. <laughs> Now I'm Magnazone, and I'm Blast Charge. Sweet! Waha! Yeah! Oh, you switch back. <laughs> hmm, impressive. Can you do this too? Yeah, I can. There are 16 of us who can do this. Oh, cool. Star Strike! Roller Brawl! Thank goodness! Yes. Oh, my dear best friends! And, yep, I can't believe we're fi that you finally made it back here. I know, right? What happened? Well, nothing happened, really. I just landed. Whoa! <laughs> so I just made a living of dancing. And I just kept using the stars as a map. Mm. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Yep, this was... Yeah. Yep. Hey, uh, 
Starstripe? Yeah. I heard rumors that you're my mother. Is this true? Not that I know of. Yeah, well, when we head back to my lab, I believe I know something that could be able to help us out. Oh. Okay. Um, the dog? Is this going to hurt? Oh, no, 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 no. No. It's going to hurt a lot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Warning, this scene is too graphic for children's eyes. So, this part's censored. <laughs> My skin! And now back to the show. Oh, oh no, not yet. Okay, now back. Hmm. All right. Uh huh. Science proves that you are not the mother. Huh. All right. Good. No more we there's no weirdness between us then. What's hello everyone. What is going on here? Uh well Starstrike and Rollerball uh, well there was a rumor that Starstrike was Rollerball's mother, and I concluded that she's not the mother. Hmm Magic tells me that they are or that she is the mother. Dude, magic does not work. No way to figure stuff like that out is through science. Science is the answer to everything. Not surprising. And you think you're so superior because you're a machine. I am. Machines are always superior. They're over. Have the less advanced creatures like you, owl people. Oh, why are you not? Okay, that, that's not for you guys. Look. Hoodoop. Ah, ah, hold on. Ah, there we go. Look, Hoodoop, I believe. You know that I'm a magic user too, but sometimes we have to let science do some work too. Although, I do feel some sort of strange bond, like a some motherly bond with with roller brawl. So, so ha! Huh, see, she is the mother. She is not the mother. I am telling you, she is not the mother. Wait a minute! I know someone who could be able to help us out. Hmm? Genie. <sighs> Holy crap! Who the heck is that? Oh, hi. My name is Ninjini. Ninjini? Yep, I am a genie. One of the first Skylanders. Oh my gosh, I have heard so much about you. I love your work as a magic Skylander. Can I have your autograph? Sure. I will treasure this for the rest of my life. So, what do you need to know? Is... Is she my mother? Is Starstruck your mother? Hmm, let me see. She is not the mother. Aha! Uh -huh. I freaking know it! I told you! But at the same time, she is! Ha! Huh, I told you what! Wait, what? What? That's not possible, though, Ninjini. Actually, it is. Through reincarnation. Bum, bum, bum. Reincarnation? What? Uh, well, let's go back many years ago. Oh, before she came to Skylands by Chaos. I'm sorry, little one. I can't be able to protect you and your brothers. I'm gonna have to leave you here in this abandoned warehouse where you'll er, in this adoption center where you'll be safe. 
I love you. <laughs> you freaking left me? That's not me, though. Is it? Wait a minute. Memories are coming back. Yep. Now the next part's gonna be kind of grueling. I did the right thing. I, I believe I did the right thing. <laughs> oh no, trolls. Note that boom, this troll is not Boomer. It is like a flashback. Or this is a different troll. I mean, you probably know that by now, but just as a friendly reminder. That's right. And, and I know what you're gonna do now. Now then. Why don't you give me that sacred shard you have? I know that you have given birth to the cho to one of the chosen ones. Ch chosen ones? What are you talking about? Don't be dumb with me. We were scouting out for an elf, or for an elf that Prince of Clicky was born of a. That was born to. As a chosen one, there are eighty chosen ones in total. And you, uh, and you definitely know why. Or oh, actually, no. There's seventy nine born total, but there's definitely one that you gave birth to. Well, I gave her up, so you will never be able to find her. It's the wench. <laughs> oh, oh. Just for fun, I'm gonna throw you off this cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, good girl. <laughs> and I was re I remembered this now. I was reborn as an alien. <laughs> Days went to weeks, and weeks went to months, and months went to years. And I've lived a long life. <laughs> Then that's when chaos sent me to Earth. <laughs> so you are my mother. So, science and magic was correct. I don't know how that's possible. Well, with reincarnation, anything is possible. So you are my mother. Sorry for leaving you. I was so scared. I had no one to help me out with you, and I just thought you would be safer if, or if I wasn't around with you. Oh, mother. So essentially, they are related. I guess so. Well, I should never judge your skill of magic again. And my friend. And science does have. Make excellent points. It's... But you have to admit, my hypothesis was basically more correct. What? No, my hypothesis was. No, 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 that was my hypothesis. No, that was mine. How dare you? <laughs> <sighs> what are we going to do with those guys, Mom? I have no idea. Hey, you want to get some mother daughter time? Get like a milkshake? Sure thing, Mom. Funny how my best friend is actually he my mom. <laughs> I love happy endings. Well, we learn or we have discovered that's not that the truth of of Star Strike. So wait, are they related? Yeah. Yeah, that's basically the point of this thing. They are related. Because her mother, like her real mother's dead, but her memories went into Star Strike, so she's the real mother. 
Now she knows this, although she doesn't remember too much of her past memory of being alive. She now knows what happened, and is going to be Roller Brawl's mother. Oh, that makes sense. So wait, does that mean Nightshift's the father? Probably. Alrighty then. Mm -mm. Then let's answer your questions, and we'll get into more backstory. Alright. Miro Job Goater says, Humble, who is your best friend? Drew Rex and Stump Smash. Nate Oliver says, Show backstory. Okay. Well, I don't really have much of a backstory. All I know is that I was, I've been always like this. Some bandits tried to get, steal some of my honey. <laughs> and I fought against them. So then I decided to wander around the world, and I discovered the Skylanders, where I became a Skylander. Yep. Andrew Burton says, like your vids, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Seen Mole says, or Jean Jean, sorry, I can't pronounce, sorry if I don't pronounce your name right. Says, hey, Swappers, what do you guys think of Trap Shadow? I like him. Yes, very sneaky. Yar, even though we don't get to interact with him too much, he's actually pretty cool. Yes. Julie Gunn says, Hey, I just got Rattleshake today, and he is awesome. Powers, tail whip, shooting snake gun. Yep, for sure. Would you see some of his other power-ups? Yes. No spoiling, though. Unless you want us to. Then we will do it, but we won't really do it. Without consent. Wow, we got a lot of questions on episode, uh, on the part two thing. Super Yellow Shadow says, The dog in the background hates Twilight. Who doesn't? He also says, Do you want, po Do you want proof that Punchhawk and Gilgrun are dating? Meh. I think we understand why, because you kind of explained it to us. But, yeah, why don't you show us proof? Just be safe. Um, okay, Sporphius says that Wash Buckler was meant to show how he met Slobbertooth, Countdown, and, um, Countdown. Okay, that makes sense. We weren't sure, because we know that Roller Ball, Brawl kind of didn't explain of how she met them either, so we, so we apologize. We shall show that now. Last zone. We gotta find some help. I know, right? But where are we gonna find it? Yar, I have no idea. I just have no idea. <laughs> what the? I got some. I got something. Hey. Oh, what's good? What's good? What? What the heck? Is that Murma Squid? Yeah, it looks like a furnace knight, too. Alright, lads, what'd you get? Uh, it's a murmur squid in a... in a furnace knight. Yar, please, don't hurt us! Us? Don't hurt us, please! Yes. Mm -hmm. How can we trust you? Y Yar, just, just listen to us. We can help you. We aren't villainous. All right. Hey, cut him loose. Right. <laughs> okay, listen. If you make me your leader, I can be able to lead us to your to our friend and to your friends. You can do that. Yar, I can. All right. Well then, we'll listen to you for now. But if you're trying to trick us into or trapping us. Then I will slobber you whole. Hello. 
Don't worry, though. We will go against you guys. Promise. Good. Yeah, and that's how it happened. Nice. Definitely nice. Okay. Next question. And I was expecting you to get hit by a hurricane. By a hurricane. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Ow. Oh, dang hurricane. Or dang hurricane. Uh, okay. Super Scalander Smurf says, Bumble Blast, shoot. One. Wow, that's a lot. Like one billion bees at Rattleshake for poisoning Boomer. I don't care that he had to. Come on, amigos, please. It was just because of the her comments and. <laughs> Take her to the doctor, please. Right, sir. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be, be better next episode. Super Yellow Shadow says, Ricky Ball, I made Washbuckler hit you because you made Hex mad and made her turn Washbuckler into the night. Wait. Yeah, but everything got fixed, plus I didn't mean to make her mad. So I'm sorry. Okay, Patrick Lord says, One, uh, what has to be the saddest moment in Skylands? I don't really know. Two, to spiral under a hex, what would happen if you that you found out that Malfour has returned? Wait, what? He's returned? I think we would be livid. I hope the others didn't hear that. Hey, I already started the manhunt. Wait, where's Hex? Already started the manhunt. Did you find her yet? No, not yet. Okay, keep looking, Hex. Oh, great. Three, to Slobbertooth. Do you have a crush on Scratch? Mm, no. Four, to Puffus, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear? Is being alone. Mm -hmm. And five, what do you think is better, the Giants or the Swap Force? That's what I want to say, because... They are both amazing in their own way. Giants because, well, because they're giant, and the Swap Force characters because they can swap powers with each other. Our Petrus Lord says, "Oh, um, six to Tree Rex. Who is your worst enemy?" He. Fire, not the fire characters, but the fu actual fire. Seven to Roller Brawl. No. Okay, I'm coming. I'm kind of surrounded by friends here. Dang friends, always surrounding me. When I need to be asked questions. Okay, here I am. What's the question? Is Night Shift your dad? If so, does he forbid you to go out with Washbuckler? Possibly, and I guess he would. I hope not. I'm sure he'll be okay. Eight to chop chop and igniter. Yes, yeah. Are you two arch rivals? Well, we are friends. Yes, we are indeed friends. But we are, like, battle rivals. Yes. Meaning, like, we will battle each other, yet we are still friends. Hence, which makes sense, indeed. And nine. To hot dog. Hug. Yes? What has to be the best moment in your entire life? Well, I I found this tennis ball, and I peed on it, and I buried it in the yard, and then later tonight, I dug it back up, and I played with it. Now that's not the best moment. The best moment was when I got bacon wrapped, or steak wrapped up in bacon. It was the best night of my life. Yeah, that was a pretty awesome night. Yeah, definitely. Alright, it's part 3 3, says, Bumble Blast meets War. Huh. 
Greetings. Wow, you're a bee. You are awesome. Thank you. We should talk some more later. Indeed. He is awesome. I know, right? Uh, he's okay. Julie Gunn says, I laughed so much I couldn't breathe. Well, thank you. We like to hear good comments like that. The Alpha says, Bumble Blast, who is your best friend? Like I said, Tree Rex or Stump Smash? Gabriel Fenton says, Gil Grunt, the proof that Punk Shark is your girlfriend is one her, of her upgrades. One of her upgrades turn her into a mermaid. Hey, uh, are, are you sure about that? I'm gonna have to see some proof when the chance comes for it. Wow, we got a lot of comments. Okay, all, and also Sonic Boom will find the missing Pikachu says. Has, and also Sonic Boom will find the missing wizard and realize that the wizard worked for Chaos and they use Sonic Boom babies as slaves and they don't kill one, and they kill one of her babies. No, all her babies are here. They're all safe. But he probably is working for Chaos, that's for sure. Bumble Blast, how did you become a scoundrel? Also, when you meant who is was your mentor? Also, the next episode will be about Sonic Boom finding her babies. Also, smash her eggs. No! No, we're not going to smash her eggs. We don't want to do that. Anyway, I kind of basically explained in my backstory. I don't really much to tell about it. Also, my mentor was Dump Smash. Hush. Yeah, believe it or not, it was Dump Smash. Cannot believe it. Also, the rest of Skylanders find the missing Skylander and Sonic Boom eggs are hatched and her babies are being kidnapped by the wizard she know. Oh. Wait, no. All my babies are safe. Wait. Charcoal3991 says, Bumble Blast, don't the beast sting you? Also, I think Punk Shock is dang Zap, even though he's a dragon. He was raised by eels. Um. Uh. My bees never really sting me. They like me, especially since I have honey. Or, basically, since I'm a giant honeycomb. And, that, I don't really get to, I don't see really happening either. But, Gilgren and Punk Shark, I can see. We'll find out later about that. Nathaniel Nusi says, Bumble Boss 1, Trirex is your dad and Stop Smash is your brother. Stop saying that! We are complete different trees! Okay? I am a honeycomb tree. Stomp Smash is just a normal tree hunt. And Tree Rex is a mutant rattle tree. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but still! And my. And Stomp Smash is my best friend, okay? Actually, Swan might be too, since he's a bee. Nathaniel also says, Sook is also your brother. No! He's a complete different species of plant. We just prefer to stay in the ground. Except he preferred to. Be walking around. We're completely different species. Okay? He isn't even a tree. There. I had to get that out. Alright. Sporfield, so he says, here's a riddle for you. A cowboy walks into town on Friday. He stays in town for three days and then leaves on Friday. How did he do it? Uh, if you don't know, then answer um, blah blah. The answer, Bubble Blast, ask Grunt Rattleshake. Hey, Rattleshake. Uh, yes? Uh, sorry for stinging you earlier. That's okay. You were doing it for comments. Yeah, um, anyway. Do you know the riddle? Oh, yeah, I heard it while I was walking by. Because the horse's name was Friday. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! You get it? I get it. Oh! Yeah, I'll see you later, man. Okay, Sporfia 3 also says, Backstory is easily the most boring thing on this show. I don't like them. Sorry, but we have to do it, man. People want to know. Sporfia 3 says, uh, Explain, er, Excuse my language, if it's too inappropriate for you guys. Screw you, Rick, Roller Brawl. Dude, come on. Roller Brawl is awesome. Seriously. 
Why would you say that? Jeez. That's like a mean thing. Come on, bro. This is not like you, bro. Okay. Ty Heisen Spare races. Bumble Blast, who is your best friend? <clears throat> Tree Rex or Stump and Stump Smash? Possibly even Swarm. Seeing Pondinger says, Sport Fields 3, don't say that about Roller Brawl. It is well, pal, not pal. Okay, then. Oh, we got an earlier comment. Alright, thank you. Who, buddy? No problem. Next time, it'll be from Star Strike. Yeah! Ask me some questions. I am ready for some. Yep. We might actually get to be able to do one of the background stories for Zap. So, Zap? Well, I was once a prince of the dragon, of the water dragons. Yeah, but a tidal wave washed me away. And I got adopted by eels. And I just, after growing up with the eels, all right, our dragons, the dolphins, kept making fun of us. So I decided to beat them in a race. <sighs> After doing so, the eels gave me, or taught me how to use electrical powers. And I made myself this tank thing that allows me to use electricity. And then I became a master here and discovered me and I became a scavenger. Cool, bro. Cool. Okay, that's all we had time for. And again, next time it's from Starstrike, we shall do her next. Yep, ask me questions. Alright, we hope you like this one. And thank you for 400 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. 400 subscribers, baby. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, mama. Yeah! See you next time. Ah! Is that...